So this is the final um, patio. I thought when I made it, because all the slabs are kind of lined up and level, it's perfect. But there's just a slight problem. And if you want to find a slight problem, the answer is always to use water. So when I soaked it, um, that slab there and that slab there are lying a bit low at the edge. You can see the water there, they're damp. So it's not quite perfect, which is a bit upsetting. But there's no water. Well, there's water lying in the joints, but that's because I've got wet water in the joints. So the only place it's wet is down the side. And the water tells you that, but it's a bit late now. I'm not going to change it. I mean, it's almost perfect, you know. But um, what does it cost? Well, each of these stones is about... 25, 30 pounds each, and there's what is there? There's nine of them. So, whatever. It's about 300 pounds, maybe 250 of, of flagstones. Then, all these granite stones around the side are about two, three pounds each. So, probably 400 pounds, 500 pounds top for, for the granite. And there's about, oh, there's a lot of cement under there. There's about there's four inches of concrete under each one. I'm reckoning about 36 bags of, of sand and 12 bags of uh, cement, so 12 times 6 is 72, plus 36 times 3 is 100, so about another 200 pounds. So th this is cost about six, between 600 and 750 pounds of materials and a hell of a lot of hard physical work and a lot of sweat but you know with luck it'll be there forever I'm going to put around the edges I'm going to put some sort of uh, fancy grass you can walk on that the bees like I don't know, I can't remember what it's called it's a sort of herb and I'll blend it all in and make it look more natural and that's that fairly successful project how long did it take I would say at least a week's full time work for me to do it I'm sure if you had two people who'd done it before, they could do it in two or three days, but uh, I had to hand mix it because I can't get my cement mixer through my house. I had to use a wheelbarrow. And that really greatly uh, increases the time it takes, probably about 12 to 15 barrels. That's about right, because you get three bags of sand and a bag of cement in each, in each one. So uh, a lot of work, and that's the end result. It's designed to blend in with something I made before which was this little mini sun terrace thing that started off with being evolving um, probably cost, I don't know what it cost but it's a lot of time I'm just learning as I go on that but now the, the two things kind of um, go together you can look down for the terrace and into that and down below are my earlier versions of projects if I walk down here can see how my projects have kind of evolved in my first attempt at slabs here was just a complete disaster because it wasn't laid on a proper base. So it's just some cheap slabs and these slabs down here, these are these are really big. I made these myself. And these are real heavyweight slabs, these are at least four inches deep. Each one made by, by hand with a frame. And these are rock solid, these are laid on sand, but you can see what happens if you lay things on sand. You always get a kind of bit like this where something sinks and it's almost impossible. Also you get of course this, the weed problem. Weeds always find their way through anything. So you know this is a very effective uh, little patio area. This took ages. I mean each slab took, took over a day to make. It's a big big job. So the reason I use concrete on my new one is I don't want weeds coming through and I don't want to lose my perfect level. This was an even earlier one, this was laid on sand as well. Here's the bell wheelbarrow. These are great, these bell wheelbarrows. Cost a fortune, but they're great. Here's an earlier one, even more weeds coming through. So the reason I used um, I used a concrete base this time is just to, to preserve it as it is. It should always look like this. There should never be any weeds ever coming through this. I've sealed the joints with sort of basic lime mortar. Maybe have to do that again. 
But given that underneath that is four inches of, of concrete, there'll never be any weeds coming through it. So that's good forever. The other possibility, of course, I made this as well. I made these stone granite steps. Need a bit of finishing there. They're quite nice as well. Nice big firm grip for your feet and all the rest of it. But the nice thing about this is that if I ever wanted a greenhouse, I mean, this is what it says 2.5 by 2.2. I could put a reasonable greenhouse straight on top of that and it's all ready to go, so there we are.